Hello there. Now I've had so much interest shown in this little project, Pipe with Bends, that I've decided to show a variation of it. And that is a pipe or piece of trunking made from sheet metal. Uh, and showing how to section it, uh, do the developed lengths and shapes of the metal so that it can be folded into the correct shapes to weld together to make a piece of trunking. So the first part of this project is to show how to make the whole object then I'm going to show how to divide it up into the correct pieces so that it can be all more or less unfolded to a flat sheet and those parts can be made and fabricated and rolled in a rolling machine. And the first thing we're going to do is construct the centre line of the pipe bend and for that we're going to use the polygon tool so we locate the centre and for this we're going to need 16 sides so tab to there 16 tab and we will make it that's all good 4 inches We'll now lead to cut this into a quadrant. Trim tool. And there's our center line. So now we go into design mode, press the D key. And we can move it down a bit and skew it round. Now we may not think it, but we can draw at right angles to that top line right on the end of the line now we do this by selecting the select tool and find the very end of that line we've got a little green dot on that line so when we select a circle it puts a sketch plane on the end of that line at right angles to the line and we select that unfortunately it masks the, the actual line till you find it, but you can't see it and you, you might have to go raking around to find it. But to get around that you can draw something anywhere and it makes it visible. A uh, handy little quirk to know about in Design Spark Mechanical. So now we can find that easily and draw pretty decent circle on there so we'll put a two inch circle and make it into a fairly thick pipe wall for this particular trunking normally you use a thin a thin sheet metal but just to make it visible in this demo we'll make it fairly thick so with that done Now we want the pull tool, so we select the annulus and trajectory to pull, double click and then full pull. And there's that bit of pipe. Now we're going to divide this up so that those separate sections become individual parts. And to do this we're going to need to put some planes, these things are plane up here, we're going to put planes across these sections and this face here. So we go to the select tool, select that, put a plane on it, that, put a plane on it. Plane. Then. 
Now that we've got planes on the end, it's possible to pull a bit of straight pipe. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to cancel that because we've still got the, we still had the trajectory selected there. It was blue, which was uh, creating a problem. So it's gone now. So now I can select this here and pull a piece of straight pipe, and we do the same with this end and pull a piece of straight pipe. I'm going to click down here the Z down in this tool here and it all squares up for us. Now we can slice these pieces with the the planes we've put in. So a split body, this one up at the top here. And let's click the target object. So we've got the whole object, so we we'll click target object, find the plane and click that plane. Now that has sliced through. We're not going to delete any anything so we can escape and do the same thing again. Click that bit and that plane. Split body, that one, that plane. Split body. body this piece and not plane. So now we've split our bend into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven solids. And we can separate them. I'll just get rid of that icon. That's it. Now move to that's that one. And there we have our our bend cut up into seven pieces. Let me show that better if we cancel all these planes out. So we've got a spurious surface in there which is up here. And take that out. Well there's all the separate parts. And that is the first part of this uh, tutorial. Stand by for the next part, which will show how to unfold these parts into flat pieces that can be cut out and rolled in a rolling machine. As always, I hope you find this interesting and useful to your particular applications. Bye.